Hey, welcome back everyone. Toysh is here and I'm back yet again for yet another Super Action Stuff video. And today it comes courtesy of my friends over at Super Action Stuff. This is a look at their brand new accessory set, 22 bloody accessories, the Cursed Crate. And what a crate it is. The actual little box is an accessory in and of itself and it's really well done to be honest with you. It's like a little foot locker but futuristic style. Totally dig that. Now, this is available to pre-order on Entertainment Earth now. They are starting to ship out. However, it just says pre-order still. You may want to wait until it says in stock because you will get 10% off with my linkage. Also available, which I highly recommend, is the Super Action Stuff Casket of Cruelty. If you're into taking photography for action figures or just having fun, it's a really nice setup. Lots of weapons, lots of bloody accessories. It makes for a fun time. And I do have a video on this set now if you'd like to check it out on my YouTube. But in the meantime, sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Super Action Stuff. The Cursed Crate. And while I got all you bloody fantastic people here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube videos. Subscribe, like, do all that great stuff. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. Like this Cursed Crate. It's a great name, right? Just like the Casket of Cruelty, we have the Cursed Crate. And uh, like I said, what a crate it is. Very well painted, very well done. You can use this from... Aliens to G.I. Joe to futuristic toys, sky's the limit. And this pops off just like that, fits on there nice and snug. And you got lots of little packing peanuts, for lack of a better word, right? So everything is in there with this stuff, which you could just pull out, right? Just make sure you don't throw any of the accessories away. And you're left with 22 accessories. So we'll go through each of them. This is basically a puke puddle. Maybe you got the gut sliced right, it's pouring out of you, bloody style. It's good for aliens. Now, this is largely going to be an expansion pack for the Casket of Cruelty in many ways. A lot of the pieces, a lot of the parts that you see are ones that we have gotten before within the Casket of Cruelty, but now they are done in a green clear plastic, which means anything that bleeds green, anything that slimes walls, yeah, you could pretty much use it for that. Now, one thing I will say, though. Well, the designs are great, and it lends itself in really very many colors, right? From bloody red to gobbledy green. It is largely the same thing. And that's one thing I do want to point out. I think that with all the great effect pieces, within the Casket of Cruelty, you actually had the weapons. Now, what I would have liked to have seen, just to kind of expand upon all this goopy greatness would have been some futuristic weapons to then utilize all these great green accessories, right? Like this brain. So now you have a bit of a zombie brain, right? It's got all the green ooze all over it. It's very well done, very cool. And yes, some of these accessories are meant to be spitting effects and effects that can clip on to swords. And as you'll soon see in the video, if you don't have the prior sets, which I would recommend getting first, and then if you really like these types of accessories, then move in to the Cursed Crate. But largely, they fit onto mostly all the accessories I put forth in this video. Like, they have a bloody heart, too. That's really cool. You also get a pair of boxing gloves, which the Casket of Cruelty set has. Now you get them in gold, so at least you have another pair to then spar with another action figure on your shelf. Now, just to kind of show you the differences here... What they really exceed at is the housing units. The Casket of Cruelty, the Cursed Crate. Very well done. Accessories in and of themselves. But as you can see, and it is a little bit of a higher price point, of course, by about 10 bucks. But I like the extra weapons that come with the Casket of Cruelty. I think it adds to it. Now, you can utilize all those accessories and weapons with this cursed crate which is totally cool and for me honestly the best ones in the box are those that can clip on to existing parts and pieces of your action figures so you get slimy effects and bloody effects and that's really cool to me now like i said the boxing gloves are tremendous right that's a lot of fun and they do work with six inch figures seven inch figures as long as you can pull the hands off but i will tell you that i think around the six inch 112 
Marvel Legends type scale. Those are where the boxing gloves really work. And as far as the accessories go, you'll have a great time with all manner of photography. And like I said, I like the clip-on effects. I just wish that more of these effects were clip-on. A lot of times, you do have to get a sticky tack or something to kind of fit it onto your figure, whereas I would love if going forward on the next set, you could have more of clip-on accessories a la the 90s. So, that's going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new Super Action Stuff, the Cursed Crate. And thank you again to Super Action Stuff for sending this out for the purposes of this video. Overall, it's a nice expansion pack. There's not a whole heck of a lot of new here, but there is some nice effect pieces for aliens and monsters and all kinds of creatures of the night. So you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Super Action Stuff. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, keep on keeping on with the accessories. You're really bringing our collections to life. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.